Okay, we're back again with the updated um, teeth brushing timer, I guess I would call it. Um, this is, I've added some NeoPixels to it, um, so that's what's new. So you can see we've got two strips here, uh, which make a total of 12. We'll go ahead and turn the system on. Goes through its color cycle. I asked each kid which color bar they wanted. Um, and uh, one chose a sky blue and the other one chose a kind of a pinkish color. So I'll get the timers going here. And basically the the NeoPixel strips now um, are are like a progress bar. So as the timer's counting, um, it'll slowly fill the progress bar with a different color. Um, not really showing up well on the camera, but uh, you can see there's blue and uh, the bar is green as it goes across. Down at the bottom it's a pink and a very different color orange in real life. Um, not much has changed inside the box. Um, let's see here. Basically I've just added uh, two NeoPixel strips. Um, I've tied them together with that blue wire there at the top for the data in, data out of one strip to another. Um, the powers um, got um, tied together with the LCD. So basically the only thing that's uh, new in here is the um, data pin for the NeoPixel strips and the power and the data for the LCD were already there so not much else has changed. Um, <clears throat> so you can see still using the same um, chip, um, don't have very good light, but same chip as we used before. Um, nothing has changed there at all. Um, yeah, I'll just wait for it to count down here. You can see the progress bar has moved along. These right now are at a very, very low intensity. Um, I've got these cranked down to around 30 out of 255 and they're still way too bright for the camera to capture correctly. So I'll let the first one go off here. There's the last bar. And you can see it just kind of strobes, which the camera really doesn't capture very well at all. Um, let the other one count down here. Um, I use Sugru um, as well as the um, neoprene um, skirts that came with it for the strips. Um, that far right bar there down at the bottom, I kind of got a little bit of the the uh, Sugru on it. But you can see it goes into strobe mode there. Then it returns back to um, their original state, basically, of uh, ready to start again. And then if you leave it on for too long, then it goes into a strobe mode, which, again, the camera just fails to capture um, what it really looks like. But anyway, that is the box. We can start the timer again here if we choose, like that, or we can just turn it off. So that is the NeoPixel timer clock.